Hi, this is Ken LaRue from Autodesk, and this is a quick walkthrough on baking Meek T normals from high resolution models to low resolution models with the Scanline renderer in 3ds Max 2021. Here we have a low resolution model and a high resolution model. First, align the high resolution and low resolution models in your scene. Switch to the Scanline Renderer from the Rendering dialog box. Make sure the low resolution mesh is selected. The maps must be created for that object. Now open up the Bake to Texture dialog box. Add a Diffuse and Normal maps from the Add Maps in the Selection menu. Set the destination folder where the maps will be saved. Select all the maps. You can use Control A to do that or just drag and select them all. Now we'll edit their settings. In this case, the resolution will be 512 by 512. For the column that reads projected from, click where it reads self and then choose pick from list. So the baking is done from another object in the scene which in this case will be the high resolution mesh and then choose the high resolution mesh in the list. Now adjust the cage to make sure it is encapsulating all of the high resolution mesh. Reset the cage. Use the push amount to push it outwards of the low resolution mesh. If the two models align well, you don't need the cage. You can open the projection settings and choose the ray trace method. Click on the projection settings. Select ray trace. Set the distance to a distance that makes sense. A value of 10.0 by default works in most cases. Set the map's destination in the output to column. Choose create new material. Pick PBR material metal rough. Set the diffuse map to base color. Set the normal map to norm map. Now let's set the normal map options. Choose tangent space, sync with 3ds Max or any other application of your choice. Meek T on, calculate per pixel off. Now this is most common in game engines and other applications. So this option, whether on or off, is dependent upon your destination. Output into normal bump off. The PBR material doesn't need it. Go to the viewport preference settings dialog box. Set the viewport to show Meek T normal correctly. In the preferences, switch to Meek T for normal bump. Turn off calculate per pixel. Keep in mind that the normal maps options and settings in the Bake to Texture dialog box and the Viewport Preference dialog box need to match or the maps will not display correctly. Now click the Bake button and close the dialog box. In your scene, compare the two meshes side by side. The object has a PBR material as baked material and a baked material. Adjust the material to look like the original material of the other object. Set the roughness to 1.0 in this case to make it less shiny. So that was a quick walkthrough about baking Meek T normals from high resolution model to a low resolution model with the Scanline renderer in 3ds Max 2021.